Hey guys, my name is Sam Knight, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. We're here in the catacombs. We're going to kick some serious ass. We got a very eventful episode today. Very eventful, actually. Um, there's the thing. This episode uh, will probably be right about the same length as the others, except this one. I hate this room so much. <clears throat> this one, I turned the wrong way. Uh, this one, we're gonna be gonna be getting the rest of this castle done, and we're going to get up to Richter just wacky. Now this is the room that you need the echo for. I would just like to do this for the end of it because I don't like going in the dark. Now you can see. And you get the spike breaker armor down here. You know what's wild? We just started, what? Can't be more than two minutes ago, three minutes ago. We're already almost half done with the catacombs. One of the coolest areas in the map, in my opinion. Very short, though. Inverted a little bit, takes a little bit longer. Bike breaker and a library card. Right, this half's done. <laughs> no joke. We're half done with uh, with this. I got something. Was it? Was it the? It was something I already have. I think there is a. I think it's called the Wolf's Bane, where it's like really strong against werewolves and were creatures. It's a really cool looking sword. I'm going to be getting every weapon in this game eventually, just not now. Alright, now, you put on the spike breaker armor, and it does exactly what you'd think it does. You need this, I think, for four different things. I mean, you can use it anytime there's spikes, but you only need it four different times. This, and the inverted version of this, and then, if you look on the map, all the way on the left and top, that gray, like, penis that was sticking out, that, and both. But, without the Spike Breaker armor, you wouldn't be able to get to the next castle. Because you need two different rings. Remember the one that says, Wear Clock, uh, from the Nightmare, in the last one? You need that one, and then you need the silver ring that goes with it. And you get that. Oh wait, I can take off the this. Oh, these guys are cool. You either get Monster Vile 3 or a bunch of red skeletons coming at you. <clears throat> oh yes, this definitely doesn't mean they're gearing me up for something really big. Hellfire Beast. One of my favorite enemies. You only find him, I think, once or twice. Oh, the graveyard uh, dudes. Lazaloff. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, this guy is a dick. Straight up. Straight up twattage. Come on, sword, help me out. There he goes. And then he gets eviscerated into his own black hole that was apparently inside him all along. Very elaborate enemy. I think you get the ice brand naturally right now. Like, instead of buying it, you get it right here. Yeah. It's good stuff. Now, I'm gonna... 
give a little disclaimer. Michaela might come home during this episode. Probably, actually. Now, there is a section I'm gonna have to cut out. Maybe she'll come home during that. Maybe she'll come home in the middle of the boss fight that's about to happen. Who knows? Not me. Walking mail? Yeah, walk armor. That is arguably the best armor in the game. Right now it's... Yeah, it increases with map coverage. So I'll just put that on because it's equivalent to the diamond armor right now. But while I'm not looking, it will slowly go up. And I'm very... Uh, I, I know when you have 201%, well, 200.6, but I found a glitch that... Well, I didn't find the glitch myself. I can't take credit for it. But. All right, fave boss. One of fave boss. Grand Falloon! Now, I don't always knock off all the bits, but I think I'm gonna for you guys. So you can see, like, this full boss. Oh yeah, he does shit like that that I hate. That was close. That was really close. Oh shit, I forgot how difficult it gets. If you can avoid it, don't knock all the bits off. There he goes. Down and out. Did I get the whole map in here? I did. That is one of the coolest bosses. Now, uh, he changes a little bit. I mean, like, appearance-wise, he stays exactly the same, but he changes a little bit. This is McGonagall or something like that? I know that's not... I know what that is. I just... This isn't Harry Potter. Oh, wow, my damage is really high. Um, just making sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. Is the Bloodstone better? No, it is worse. It is a lot worse. All right, so we are done down here. Next thing is just that dick off the side over there. So, I'm going to cut to that. Okay, I'm here. Got to put on the... Nope. That. See, you could, <clears throat> in theory, get to here without the spike breaker armor. You could just miss through. But, they get you. See, so you can even stop right there. They trick you, you're like, yeah, go ahead, you can stop right here. But then, see, they have a, a door you have to open. And you can't open that door without breaking the spikes. Wait a sec, I have to break that last one. How that actually breaks it, I will never know. Like, missed. But. So, did you find Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. That, that can't be true! You're wrong! I, I, I must go now! Lover's Quarrel, Silver Ring, now look at this, whoops, again with this, this, this happens like once an episode, I have it on the cord, so that way bad things don't happen, where in Clock Tower, so I will cut to getting all the way to the Clock Tower.
All right, we're here. And now you put on the gold ring and the silver ring. Story plot. Plot and story. Thirteen bing bongs. It's thirteen o'clock. I always think because in the inverted castle, it's on the right. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Creepy ass music in here. I actually used to have my nana do this part for me because I didn't like the music in here. Sounds like a pig is in here in a minute. See? I always thought that there was a giant monster pig, almost like Ganon, was down here waiting for me. On a card? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here, take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. See now, <clears throat> I think it's in the Japan version. She's actually a boss fight. And I know that when they ported it to PSP, she's also a boss fight there. Which surprised the shit out of me. So, <clears throat> I'm just gonna get up to Richter, and then the next episode just gonna have to have something to do with Richter. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm here, <clears throat> and I figured, why not just go for it. Also, there's a cat just bothering me. So, here's what you gotta do. You gotta equip the holy glasses. If you don't, you're screwed. But we're going for it, guys. Because I don't think this episode's been all that long. But I also said that about the last one. I don't think I was right. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm gonna fight Big R. I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. If those are your true feelings, then so be it. Holy cross! See, now look. There's a booger above his head that you gotta attack instead of him. Almost. It's not very hard, just Richter's really strong. There he goes. You've defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. <laughs> No. What have I done? Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. I'm not doing that, by the way.
Now look, we're in the inverted castle, and look at the map I have to fill in. Now, normally there's supposed to be cutscenes. I just realized that there was no cutscene at the beginning either. No, damn it! There was no cutscene at the beginning showing the castle. And there was no uh, cutscene of this castle being formed. That doesn't make any sense. Man, if I would have known that, I would have added it in editing. Okay, now, we're gonna go save and we're gonna end the episode, but we're also gonna quit to the menu to make sure I have 100.1%. Uh, because that's where you're supposed to be at after everything that just happened. If this map is entirely complete without one missed secret, and the one dot in the inverted castle, I should be at 100.1. I would save in the inverted, because it's just right here, but I don't know what the percentage is supposed to be at for that. So, let's check really quick. Exit game, yeah, I just saved. It's fine. Should be at 100.1, I made it. All right, so, so far, so good. We are perfect so far. So that's it for me today. I, I don't have enough time for any more episodes. So be sure to check in for the next one, because we're going into the inverted castle where the drag man is. So be sure to check in for that, because I want to see you there.